Hi guys, welcome back to PCs and EVs. Just finishing up full charging the car right before a 75 mile an hour highway range test, which is what we'll be doing today. Um, this is a loop style range test. The loop itself is only about 40 miles each direction, so I will be going back and forth and back and forth. Um, comment down below now what you think this will do on a full charge. Parameters are, we're gonna have the climate set to 70, we're gonna have it set on auto, the lowest of the three settings. And we'll be doing, we'll be using eco as the drive mode. Um, I'm excited to see how far my car can go. Uh, I know when I fill it up, the guesso meter is gonna claim 293 miles. That's because I've been driving this thing really, really conservative, conservatively recently. So we'll, I'm curious to see what we end up with. So hello guys, as you know, we were getting ready to do our 75 mile an hour range test video. Uh, I just got off the phone with the Electrify America. As you can see, my car is not plugged in. And as you can see on here, we're gonna flip the camera in a second. My car is not plugged in, but uh, charging. And I'm still getting charged for this. Uh, I've called them. They said if I have any crazy charges, just uh, give them another call. They've tried doing a remote stop of the session twice, as well as tried rebooting the station twice, and neither worked. So uh, we're going to work on getting going about our range test video. But uh, yeah, a quirk that I've never encountered, and neither had the rep I had on the phone. She couldn't stop the charge, and I don't know why. So after that whole charging debacle, we are off. Currently, guesso meter with climate on set to 70 at auto on low. Uh, actually, I'm probably gonna set it to 69. Nice. Um, currently, guesso meter says 282 miles to empty. We're obviously not gonna be able to do that at um, 75 miles an hour, but we're about uh, half a mile to a mile probably from the highway so we're gonna go get on the highway and start doing our loop it's a beautiful day out today you guys can actually see the um you guys can actually see the heads up display which is nice it's a beautiful day out not very windy it's about 62 degrees fahrenheit out and this um loop itself is obviously going to be pretty much perfect um, as best I can with going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, yeah, we've already lost a mile, but not a percent. Uh, but yeah, it was weird. Uh, like I was just saying that the Electrify America charging station let me unplug and everything, but it wasn't... it wasn't finishing the session so technically even as we're going on this trip i have an electrify america session going which is weird um not sure how i feel about that but really nothing i can do um yeah we're just gonna enjoy the drive and get on the highway i am excited to see what our final number will be as well as our final efficiency i have um reset the trip and everything uh, um, we're going to merge on now got to get up to highways got to get up to speed by the end of the ramp so it does it is a relatively short ramp so we do got to get up to speed relatively quickly oh that's a little too fast there we go I'll check in with you guys. All right, guys, we just ticked down to 90%. We've got 254 miles of range, and we've used 95% of our electric use has been on driving, 2% on climate, 2% on electronics, and some on battery care. I believe that was very early on, right when I first unplugged. And we've gone about 20 miles, a little under. Um, Efficiency is garbage because it 
has a hill in the middle and then we should get, regain efficiency on the other side and then obviously we'll climb back the hill and go back down so this probably isn't a crazy good test because it's just climbing and declining but uh we're in it this is what i've got available to me for roads so we're rolling with it well this is frustrating we've run into some construction hopefully it's not too long but uh it's definitely going to affect our overall speed um not much i can really do about this um Especially with me wanting to do a loop style test. I haven't seen any construction on the way back, but I I can't really avoid this. Um, yeah, I'll uh, update you guys shortly on how far the construction is. Currently we're at 84% average of 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour, 36.1 miles. Driven, 235 estimated remaining. <sighs> All right, guys, so I exited at the next exit because it said that it would be about seven miles of construction. So I'm just going to shorten my loop and I'll go um, exit one to exit nine and we shouldn't run into construction. So it shouldn't affect us too much. That was only about a mile's worth of slower driving. All right, so I just missed 80 percent um, at 79 percent. We've gone 45 and a half miles. 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour on average and 222 miles guesstimated left um, doing my best to maintain 75 miles an hour through this um, but yeah I actually I'm guessing it's probably going to be like 185 190 at 75 miles an hour but we'll see all right 65 ish miles in just hit 70 percent got about 193 miles left on the guessometer and we're hovering between 2.5 and 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. I'd say we're doing pretty good. Um, I've had to, I've turned around twice now. Um, so I'm going back out towards the coast. Let's see. Based on this, honestly, I think it's going to be right around that 200, 220 mark. Obviously, I don't know yet, but we'll see about to take over to 60% battery. We've gone 83.4 miles. We've got 167 miles left on the guessometer. Average efficiency so far is 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour and we've been doing this so far for about an hour and 15 minutes. It's going well. Just hit 50%. Um, gone 102-ish miles so expecting to get about that on the second half. Let's see how this goes. Kind of lost track of how we were doing. We're at 38% battery remaining. I've gone 128.3, average of 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. And we have an estimated 100 miles left. I doubt that, but we'll see how far we can go from here. We're at 38%, guys. Just ticked down to 29%. Looks like we've got about an hour left of driving for me 70 miles estimated 145 driven 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour you'll notice that average has stayed pretty much rock solid consistent yeah and we just dropped two miles honestly we're 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 not gonna or we're probably barely gonna make 200 miles if we do all right guys just checked over to 20 percent battery um i stand corrected well mostly for like the past five minutes now that's been at 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour of course we just climbed a hill so it went back down but i think overall we're getting a uh, better efficiency just doing my best to maintain speed even with uh people in front of me and everything here we go and adaptive cruise control can take back over we've got about 45 miles of range left um and we're, it's going to be close to 200 I don't know if we'll make it, but we are going to find out for sure. See, look, we're still at 20% and it just ticked back over to 2.7 miles per kilowatt. Like I said, we've been flip-flopping. All right, just ticked down to 10%. We're not going to hit 200 miles, I don't think. I'm going to try eating into the um, buffer a little bit, guys, and see how that happens. But honestly, I don't think we can do it because we're at 10%. We've got 21 miles. We're estimating 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour, which should theoretically get us 
about 210 miles, but again, that's assuming all 77 kilowatt hours are usable, which I'm not 100% sure of. We've got 182 miles, roughly, and we've got 20 miles left. We're averaging about two miles per percent, so we're like right there when it comes to um, 200 miles of range. Honestly though guys, it's been a relatively uneventful drive. Um, it's been about 63-ish degrees Fahrenheit across the entirety of the drive. Um, I've seen 62, I've seen 64. Um, wind seems to be constant. It's about a four mile an hour crosswind. Um, ish. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and eat into the buffer to get us to that 200 mile mark. But I've seen the gap between estimate and 200 mile and actual with 200 miles just shrink greatly. Right now we've got about a mile and a half buffer between zero miles and 200 miles. Zero miles left and 200 miles. I know we can do that, um, but I'll be eating into the buffer, and I'm curious to see how much I'll have to eat into the buffer to do that. Um, we'll probably slow down here very shortly and hit some frontage roads, some roads around the Charger, and uh, just do the best we can with that, uh, just to get the every last bit that I'm comfortable getting out of it, out of it. Now, I, if you guys remember at the beginning of the video, I talked about Electrify America's station having me stuck charging. As far as I can tell, that session, that session still hasn't ended almost three hours later. I'm prepared to call them to initiate a new session for me and that the previous set and to dispute the charges on the previous session though. So not the end of the world, just annoying for sure. We're now down to 8%, 16 miles remaining, 184.8 miles. So we've got an eight-tenths of a mile buffer. Jeez, this is getting tight when it comes to the 200-mile number. All right, we've got 6% left. We're at almost 190 miles. A little over 12 miles left on the guesso meter. Uh, still 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. Been going for almost three hours now. I'm just trying to get you guys so that you guys can see when it clicks over to the, um, the heck is it called, the, uh, when it gives the battery warning for 5%. So I'm just trying to get it so that you guys can see that. There we go, power limited, charge immediately, low EV, battery warning 5%, uh, 11 miles range. All right, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to call all these 70 mile an hour range test, 75 mile an hour range test as of a mile ago, so at 194 even. Um, I'm still gonna try and burn the last 3%. Claims it can go six miles on that. Um, I'm gonna go back down and exit and back up, but honestly, one exit in between isn't enough to really burn any electricity. Or not burn any electricity, it'll burn electricity. It's not enough to really um, get up to speed for any considerate, consistent amount of time. So, um, still gonna burn the thing down to zero and then bring it in, but just kind of giving you guys an update on how that's going. Wow, we are down to 1% and yet we somehow, somehow haven't been turtle moded yet. Um, that's kind of insane. I'm very surprised, not going to sugarcoat things. That is interesting. I would have expected to be well into turtle mode by now. Now, for those of you who don't know, turtle mode's where it significantly limits your power output of the motors and the battery, um, and basically just makes it so you really have a, you, so that you have a really, really spongy accelerator. Basically, it makes it so you can't get going faster um, all that quickly. Hence the name turtle mode. 
there's even a cute little turtle on the Ionic 5. Um, we're at 197.6 miles. I've still got two miles estimated on the guesso meter, so I'm just going to circle them all until that goes away. Um, yeah. Hope everyone's enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll get the um, final exact number with efficiency and everything at the end. And with that information, I can determine... My brain just died in mid-sentence. I was going to say we can determine the uh, total size of the battery, but we really can't because there's a buffer. And that would require charging it, and charging isn't 100% efficient. As I loop around and see the uh, charger, which I'm going to keep driving around them all one more time, I see, as always, a 94 hogging a 350 kilowatt station. Ugh. And I just saw an XC40 recharge. Um, hopefully there'll still be a station available when I get back around. Otherwise, we may have a bit of a problem. We may be dead with nowhere to charge. I know one of these stations is down because it still thinks I'm charging at it, last I knew. And, uh, yeah. So we're, we're going to see what happens. We're going to get plugged back in and see what this ramps to on the 350. Um, that can ramp all the way to 200. Uh, it can go up to 211 peak once pack voltage comes up significantly. But I'm just hoping that I get a decent charge, even super low. Like I am now. And we have a ding! We have our turtle mode, power limited, 0%, 1 mile remaining. I only want to go an extra half a mile just so I can say I made it 200 miles on this charge. Um, it regen and then post regen it had 1% and then went back to power limited. So yeah, I'm just hoping to get an extra little bit out of it. I know I've got a bit of a buffer. I'll talk about that once we get plugged in. And we made it 200.2 miles, 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. 0%, zero, zero miles, getting ready to plug in. So that went quite well. We ended up getting around, right around that 200 mile mark. I uh, plugged into the 350 kilowatt station at 0% slash 1% because it had put a little bit of juice in the pack. Uh, we started charging at 180 kilowatt. The other station that I had been charging at earlier is still stuck saying that I'm charging even though I went and just did a whole range test on it. And it currently says it's been charging for 230 minutes and has somehow put in 64 kilowatt and is not 100% full. Uh, yay, please fix this. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap the video up here. After, looks like 12 minutes of charging, we've put in 42-ish kilowatt hours and we're at about 55% battery. So we're gonna end this one here. Um, as always guys, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, next up, we'll, we might be doing a 55 mile an hour range test. Um, I also need to get more computer content posted on the uh, YouTube. So uh, let me know what you guys wanna see about my Ionic 5 down below though.